Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Chris here again, and today we are talking about the uh, CAO Flathead V660 uh, box press cigar. Um, as, uh, as you may have seen uh, in one of my videos, I did an unboxing, and this was one of the cigars uh, that was um, that was in it. So um, a few a few of my followers had reached out and uh, wanted to hear a little bit more about this guy. So thought I would try it out and uh, and give you my uh, my opinion of it. Um, yeah, it was good. It was definitely definitely full strength cigar. Uh, There's a lot to it. There it took about an hour and fifteen hour and twenty minutes to go through it. Um, but it was, uh, it was good. It was, uh, uh, kind of sweet in some places, kind of like, uh, maybe some ripe, ripened fruit, uh, to it. Definitely, uh, leather. Um, I found some cedar, uh, to it. Um, uh, kind of, uh, kind of a nutty, nutty flavor to it, but more, and, and, a, a kind of a thick, thick molasses, uh, flavors as well, as you're kind of working through the cigar, it changed, it changed as you went through it, you know, from the first, uh, third to the second, and then to the end, the end was, I found quite, um, quite spicy, um, and, uh, and, um, but it was it, it was good, you know. It was a nice nice cigar, not not as much smoke from this one as the uh, as the last one I did with the um, what was it the uh, oh gosh I forget here it was the um, Cinco Vegas uh, Gold Robusto that had a lot more smoke to it. Um, this one here I paired it with uh, with the Blantons, and uh, I found. Uh, that this would work really well because the Blattens has got a bit of a, a spice to it, you know, kind of a cinnamon type of a spice uh, to it, and I thought that would probably work well with uh, with this cigar, and it it did. Uh, Weller's would have done well as uh, would have been good as well, and the Old Forester uh, Plantation um, uh, would have uh, uh, sort of the uh, Prohibition uh, style. Uh, would have done well, but I, th I, th I thought the Blantons was probably the best bet, and uh, yeah, it went, it was good, you know, it is, um, the cigar itself is a Toro, um, and um, the, uh, the you can see the numbers here, right, right on here, it will focus here for you, V660, and uh, that is uh, the actual size of it, it's a six inch cigar, and the ring gauge is is a 60 ring gauge, and you can see that it's a, a box press, so it's square. And um, the, uh, the the flathead, it's supposed to be reminiscent of these, uh, you know, the old 50s hot rod, American hot rods and stuff. You know, and the box itself is um, um, uh, looks like a, like a, like a big old carburetor, you know. So it it was it's uh, it's pretty pretty cool. Um, it's got a, a Nicaraguan uh, Liagro and a Dominican Palado uh, Cubano um, wrapper uh, around it, and around the uh, uh, the Connecticut broadleaf, and uh, the binder is a Nic um, Ecuadorian Connecticut um, binder, and the filler is uh, from Nicaragua, and the origin of the uh, the cigar here, well as well, it is uh, it comes out of Nicaragua, so. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's good. Um, I think back in 2015, uh, it was awarded quite a few different awards, uh, top 25, I think in the world. Uh, and it reached, uh, the number three position, uh, got 95 points, uh, for a cigar and aficionado that, uh, that year. So it's a nice cigar. It's uh, fairly sought after it's not hard to come by. It's a little pricier, but, uh, but it's nice. It's definitely worth it. It's definitely a full strength cigar. Um, so if you got friends that come over and they haven't had cigar before, this might not be one of the ones you would want to introduce them to. So, um, but, uh, I'm going to be giving away the cigar and, uh, to, uh, cause I've got a couple of them here. I think I've got four. So I've got uh, three left. So 
um, um, to win this uh, cigar, all you got to do is like and subscribe to my channel, and um, and that's about it. And I will I'm going to put one of these uh, cigars away uh, into a humidor, and once I get to a hundred subscribers, I will be drawing for the entire uh, humidor. So somebody is going to win a humidor full of cigars. So um, that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, to win that, just uh, like and subscribe. I appreciate everything, guys um, and girls. Uh, this is kind of a brand new thing here for me. Um, uh, I've been into uh, wedding photography, corporate photography for uh, this is my 12th year doing this now. Uh, I used to be an Air Canada pilot. I uh, did that for many, many, many years. But um, I was, uh, my last year and a half there, I was home 16 hours a month. And it was not a great way to be a dad you know so you gotta put your family first and uh i've always taken pictures so um i was a big comic book kid growing up when i was little and uh, i couldn't draw so i started taking pictures so that's how i be, kind of became a photographer so a little backstory there and uh yeah now uh they've got me uh, rated as the top best um top three best in in winnipeg and manitoba uh top Ten in Canada and one of the top thirty in North America here. So um, I get to, I get to do a lot of traveling. I get to go and shoot a lot of weddings, a lot of corporate uh, stuff uh, for people, and it's uh, it's awesome. So uh, YouTube kind of was kind of the uh, the next step here, and uh, there's all kinds of stuff out there for the brides, not a whole lot for the guys. So I thought, well, I'm going to start a channel here for the guys, and maybe help the girls out to. Um, you know, uh, figure out what kind of gifts guys might want, you know, for, for wedding day gifts or whatever. And, and it's just going to be kind of, um, stuff that I'm kind of into and, you know, just kind of fun, fun stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of, a sort of the ultimate guy lifestyle kind of channel. So there's going to be a lot, a lot of stuff here coming down the pipe, uh, a lot of adventures, lots of new stuff. And, um, you know, probably do some behind the scenes stuff, maybe maybe some like camera rig rundowns, maybe some flying stories. Got a lot of crazy flying stories, trust me on that one. Um, and uh, um, yeah, so it's going to be fun. So we're just kind of getting started. So I appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed. And uh, along the way, you're going to win a whole bunch of stuff like cigars and, um, and, and a, a box of these guys. So uh, I've done a couple reviews already, I haven't posted... All of them but so far this is what we've this is what we've got here in the humidor so um, and it'll just keep growing so uh, once I get to a hundred subscribers um, we'll uh, we'll draw for this guy and uh, we'll probably do another one so I like giving away stuff and I like make people making people happy so um, take care and uh, and thanks for thanks for watching have a great one bye bye